Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Robin's Path. And once again, she's playing hide and seek with a tree. Uh, oh well, I could have sworn that piano was usable. Interactable, anyway. But, enough of this. We have done our exploring. And it is time to bring some closure to Robin's path. Remember, he won't come to you. Well, he will, but he won't do anything to you. You have to go near him. Which, in which, just in my opinion, makes us just that much kind of, I don't know, heartbreaking at times. Where are you? I hear you. There you are. Robin wants a playmate, huh? And there we go. And at least for the start, Robin rides around on his back as he moves. Kind of looks like he's trying to shake her off a bit, but not exactly. And I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it kind of looks like Robin went limp. Not exactly. <laughs> Nope, she was just turning her head. And she turned her head some more, and the wolf howls at the dead tree. So Robin found what she wanted, right? She wanted a big, cuddly friend to play with. But something went wrong, folks. She finds herself dumped right back on the path to Grandma's house. And, um, this represents death. And before you get, before I sound too maudlin about it, I don't necessarily mean death of the character. It could mean death of something smaller, like her innocence... Or, you know, just a death of a part of her. Something she cherished. Something she held on to. One of her ideals. And In this case, I will uh, intimate what I think happened. But there's a constant theme with the girls that when you meet their wolf, they get ravaged in one form or another. In some girls, you can connotate this to mean sexual, and some girls, you can connotate this to mean, you know, um, physical, you know, their bodies get beaten and battered, or something like that. Or in some cases, part of their psyche really gets ripped apart. And I think in this case, Robin's innocence and her complete lack of fear have just been shredded and yanked from her. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I will go in depth a little bit more about that after we get through the uh, slow walking animation here. Yep, you can't run anymore. 
she, or at least a part of her, has died. And get the cutscene of her pushing the gate open and slowly making her way to Grandma's house. But just like in anime, the rain doesn't mean anything good. Our once playful, fearless little girl has had something stripped away.